Hello Collective and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I am here doing a late night reading, right? Halloween night. Let's see what we get. Um, this reading is for the Collective. Um, you can be any sign. It's for any sign, all signs, right? Um, if, the, if something in the title pulled you in here, there's something in it for you. Just take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? Don't try to force it. And thank you so much, everyone, for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations. You know what? Thank you for all of the love. Thank you for the nicknames, the kindness, right? Thank you for, um, you know, I'm, I'm able to get up every day and talk to you guys. And I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. Thank you so much for everything. I truly mean that, you guys. I hope you're having a great Halloween. Okay, stay safe out there, please, and protect your energy. There's a lot of weirdness going on. All right, Divine, what can you show me for the collective? What messages do you have? Illumination. Yeah, okay, so. Yep. <laughs> yeah, this is what you're talking about, too. So you're having a new journey. Yep, you're being of service. This is all really good, actually. It's really, really good so far. I feel like there's a lot of people on the outside, though, looking in. Okay. Um, okay, so this is good energy for you. Um, with illumination and foresight, um, I feel like this is your energy right here um, and here. Uh, you're, you're extremely intuitive, whoever I'm talking to right now. You're very intuitive. You're a messenger. You receive messages with the birds here from the divine with the number four. Um, you're definitely a light worker, divine feminine energy, okay? Um, intuitive, uh, spot on. And I feel like with illumination, you're bringing to light everything that was done wrong to you you're calling people out energetically i feel like um just by getting the messages you and you're getting answers too um with illumination i feel like the divine is is giving you downloads and telling you kind of exactly what went on with your past life soulmate connection okay i feel like you're on you're a divine feminine here so, you know, you're getting clarity from the divine, but at the same time, I feel like you guys, um, you know the injustice that was being done. You know the darkness that these people were, and I'm saying it's multiple people here, okay? You could be dealing with like four individuals or more, right, that want to get back in, okay? Um, but they can't because you've been shown their true character and you can't unsee what you've seen, and I feel like with illumination, um, you could even have possibly a, um, like a, a public podium. You could be a public speaker. You could even be another tarot card reader out here shedding the light on the injustice that's been done to you and the people who have done it. And I feel like these people are really complaining. Okay, look at their red eyes. Um, they're angry and upset. Okay, but um, yeah, you're not stopping whatever it is that you're doing because you're being of service to other people. That's what's leading me to, to think that, you know, you've got a podium somewhere. You're helping other people get through the same kind of unfairness and injustice that you've been put through. But in doing that, you're calling out the ones who have done it. You're, you're shedding the light and like they're in the spotlight now as far as their character, right, is being looked at. Um, their motives, right, are being looked at. Their values, their morals, everything, everything that they've done is being looked at. And you're the one who's shedding the light on things because you're that intuitive, I feel like um, people have even tried to send some bad entities your way, but you've passed through a doorway that they can't get through. They're showing me a scene from, um, oh gosh, what is that movie called? Fright Night. It's Fright Night. Um, it's the new one that they're showing me, though, with um, Colin Farrell's in it. 
um, and he's standing outside the doorway and the kid won't let him in. Charlie won't let, won't invite him in. Yeah. And they're showing me the scene too, where the mom, um, he, Charlie's talking to his mom and, and he's like, don't invite him in. Don't invite him in. Right. You're not inviting anything in with you in this doorway. And they, these entities or whatever bad energy these people have sent you, they can't come where you're going collective they can't the light has been shed on everything you've got knowledge about this you know i still don't want you guys to stop cleansing your energy though keep doing that all right keep cleansing your energy say in your prayers you know um talking to the divine but you central focus is people are ticked off and these are people who you're you're calling them out you are. You've gotten clarity. Um, you're, you're getting messages. You're illuminating everything. Everything with your intuition. Look at you. Are, you your intuition is on fire right now. And it's got people um, hostile. People are getting hostile. But here's the thing. Because you're of service to others and you're doing a job for the divine, I feel like you're protected as long as you don't invite them in. They have to stand on the outside looking in. They can't come towards you. Okay, I feel like you're being protected here. I really, really do. Um, let's see what else here that we have. Some people are trying to copy you and do what you do, but I feel like they can't. It's over. It's over for these people. We've got a 10 here. This is, we've got a nine. Uh, or actually, yeah, we've got a nine and a 10. I feel like it's over for them. It's over. Reciprocity. They, they're going to get what they dished out. That's what this is. You're not giving to them at all. You're being of service to other people who were hurt the same way you were. And because of their anger towards that, because they, you know, they, it's like they want to project all of that back onto you, but they know darn well that, that you're describing their character. Okay? And they don't like it. But they're about to get what they give. Reciprocity. And you, I feel, are going to be safe as long as you don't invite them in. Watch, uh, and this, is, this could be entities, negative energy, right? Be very careful what you watch on TV at this time. The veil is so thin right now, okay? The veil is so thin. As long as you don't invite them in and protect your space, do a home cleansing, right? um bless your home that kind of thing you're a light worker you know what to do but yeah i you stand behind your truth even though the truth hurt you you're standing behind your truth and you're the one with the sword up you're the one who's talking about it but it's to service others it's to help other people heal with your light with your energy your knowledge, your intuition that's on fire. Yeah, you've got your boundaries up. You should have your boundaries up. I'm seeing this as maybe somebody doing some kind of spell work here. Okay, so yeah, protect your energy at this time because this is when people are going to start really getting upset. The energy is very chaotic right now and the veil is very, very thin. Watch your thoughts. Be mindful of what you're thinking. Try to keep it positive, 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 right? That's going to help you in the long run. Believe me, the bad energy has a hard time breaking through your barrier if you're positive. So, yeah, protect your energy, but you're definitely standing by your truth. And you're speaking your truth. I feel like if you haven't already, there's you're going to reach a point where, I don't know, you're going to make it public or something. Okay? All that's been done to you. 
all the wrongs that have been done to you. It's, it's like you're taking your power back by, by telling the truth about your story. Okay, and intuitively, man, you are, you're, you're ringing a bell with so many people. Like your intuition literally is on fire right now. Acceptance. Yeah, you accept what's happened to you here. I feel like this too is the, this is the masculine energy here. Showing compassion as to what, what they did to you. Right? That's the feeling that I'm getting. But let's see what comes out. Clarify synergy, please. I feel like people could be working together as a group because there could be, like I said, multiple people. Multiple people who, who um, can't come back in now. They're about to get what they deserve. Reciprocity. You get what you give, man. Freedom. Yeah, you're free from these people. I feel like this, this to me kind of feels like a cocoon. I feel like the divine is keeping you safe from whoever this is that's doing nothing but complaining. They're, you know, um, angry, upset. Um, it's toxic energy. They're really fuming mad. Um, they're fuming mad about the things that you're saying, whatever it is that you're doing. Yeah, they, they want to cause some chaos. They want to, I feel like too, with you sleeping here, they may even try to reach you in your dreams. They want to cause chaos. They want to cause grief. This is a warning. So protect your energy, okay? But stand behind your truth. Because you are of service to other people. Uh, it's unbelievable to me as a tarot card reader out here. Literally thousands of people, thousands of people have the same story you do. When I first started this channel, I think everybody thought I was weird, right? <laughs> Which for a light worker, that's pretty normal. Um, but when I first started this channel, people would be like, how can you how can you do tarot on on YouTube? How can you do this? And you know, like they questioned me on it, you know. And I said, um, because I don't want anybody to feel alone in this. And that literally, that's what I said. I don't want anybody to feel alone in this, because there are so many people out there that have the same story you do. You know how many people have felt so alone, especially in the beginning of their journey, right? You think back. Think back when you realized you had abilities, when you realized you were a light worker, that you, you had a purpose for being here, a reason, a good one, right? Your intuition, everything. Didn't you feel like you really, there was nobody around you that would really understand? That's why I started Tarot, because I do understand. And I didn't want anyone to feel alone. Whatever it is that you're doing, collective, in speaking your truth and trying to help other people heal from the same kind of heartache you've been through, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Especially if you know that that's why you're here, is to do this right now. Keep doing it. Because you have no idea there's thousands and thousands of people out there um, that just they feel alone in this and they and 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 we out here in tarot world we understand you know i mean it's so important i feel it's so important um okay give me one more for the collective i don't know why i got on that tangent i'm really sorry but it has to be for someone you know uh, you're making people angry, and this is a warning that they're angry. I feel like you're being warned to cl keep cleansing your energy, okay? Keep protecting your energy. But I don't think it's a warning for you to stop helping other people. This is what you're here to do. 
and the, the fact that it's coming out in the reading um yeah look respect it brings great respect i feel like um i feel like you're you're held in high regard for what it is that you're doing okay you've got a calling clearly you've got a calling to help other people with service for the same kind of heartache and betrayal and unfairness you went through. And I feel like because of that, that it like commands respect, right? There's a difference between demanding respect and commanding respect. And I feel like um, you're held in high regard. You could have a, a, a big, like a, a high spiritual ranking here and it commands respect. These, that's why these people are upset. Because you're, t you're speaking the truth. Because there's other people out here who realize that you do understand and they're respecting you for that. And these people that you're calling out on their BS, they can't stand that light. Your light is like, um, they say it out here, it's irritating their demons and that's what this is. Your light irritates their demons to the point where, um, you know, they don't know what to do. Actually, they don't know what to do besides send you bad juju because they're out standing outside the gates. They can't get back in. I feel like you're being, um, you're being protected and the divine is saying you, you have to respect our light workers here. Respect the light workers. But yeah, your, your light is irritating their demons. That's how I want to say it. And it's true, though. But you're being called to do what you do because you have the knowledge, you have the voice, and you have the intuition. Yeah, hunger. I feel like this is the, this is the people that... It, it, they're you're starving them of attention they, they they can't just linger outside your your um garden walls right um in underneath sheets they can't do it anymore whatever it is that they're doing it's either coming back on them i feel like these people are it's it's kind of like it gives me that cursed feeling okay yeah because look you are too powerful Treasure, you're the treasure, you're the light worker here with the four. You've been given the abilities and the skills to help other people. Your whole life and all of your pain and your hurt and your experience has led you to this point in your life. I feel like you're being called to help others. You know, um, I'm also feeling like you're just too powerful. This here is somebody who isn't demanding. They're commanding a dragon. They're commanding respect. And if these people can't get you out of pocket or off of your throne, if they can't irritate you, they're starving. You're starving these people. And you're, you're also calling them out. But I'm telling you, these people are angry, angry, angry. I feel like they're about to get a tower moment, though, because you know what? I don't think you're going to give in to, to their dark juju or their hate or their anger. You're just not going to, it's not going to make you stop. And all you're doing is speaking the truth. That's all you're doing. All right, so give me one more for the collective. But I feel like this is, um, you know, I, I, I don't want to say bloodlines. I, I feel like it's an inheritance. You inherited these gifts. The divine gave them to you. And you're, you're finally using them to help other people and you're speaking the truth it's stirring up a lot of chaos collective I'm not gonna lie I don't want to worry anybody but it really truly is that's too many divine vengeance yeah 
somebody out they want they want revenge because you're speaking the truth about them you're speaking the truth about them and they can't take it they're not getting your attention you're not stopping because you're being called to do what you do um, and so they uh, I feel like they're gonna go a step further and try to do something to get revenge so this chaos is kind of just starting that's why you're getting a warning out here the chaos has just begun because you're irritating their demons with your light okay I'm hearing that little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine yeah just keep doing what you're doing if you're being called to do it by the divine keep doing it if you're helping other people with your story keep doing it just keep speaking the truth for the right reasons okay that's very important for the right reasons anyway collective that's what I have for this reading that was deep um, I, I hope this helps I hope it resonates with you um, if you like this please click the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you like this vibe and until next time everyone happy Halloween take care of you and peace out <laughs>